Hey guys, welcome to my 22 week pregnancy update. I guess let's just get started. So at 22 weeks, baby girl, I guess I can now say that. It still is like crazy to me to think that this baby is a girl, but I am embracing it and so, so excited. So a baby girl is the size of a spaghetti squash at 22 weeks, getting big. Also, a baby is starting to sprout hair on her head. Also, the eyes are fully formed now, but the eyelids are still closed. Also, um, my app that I'm reading off of said that baby can now start to hear sounds like my heartbeat and my blood flowing through my body and different things like that. So baby's doing well. Baby is also kicking all the time. She is so, so active. Um, it's hard to remember how active Grayson was, but she was she's definitely more active than my second pregnancy So I feel her all the time. She always lets me know that she's there Which is reassuring because you just never know how things are going in there unless you feel it So as for me for 22 weeks my biggest symptom right now, I would say is uh, leg cramps. Oh my goodness. I swear Every morning when my alarm goes off, I stretch my legs, stretch my arms, like I don't need to do it, like it just happens. And I swear every morning when I stretch my legs, they start to cramp up like I'm gonna get Charlie horses in both legs. I have to immediately flex my feet, otherwise it will um, keep going and turn into a Charlie horse and I will um, be in pain. So. That is super annoying. Also, I have been having a ton of saliva in my mouth. The past two days, I've been brushing my teeth and I've almost like gagged from just all the saliva, which is so crazy to me because I feel like I had this issue with my other two pregnancies, but I feel like it only happened in the beginning. And then like by the, this time, I didn't still have that issue. With this pregnancy, it did not develop until now, halfway through, and now I'm dealing with it. So that is not fun. I do not like that. Also, I'm still dealing with like stuffy congested nose and also a runny nose that just every morning I have to blow my nose and then I'm fine the rest of the day. I'm assuming it's pregnancy, but man, is it annoying. My pregnancy insomnia hasn't been too bad. I think maybe there's only been one or two days this whole week that I have had to uh, just wake up and just not be able to go back to sleep. I've been able to actually make most nights without having to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, so I count that as a win. <laughs> My heartburn hasn't been too bad lately. It was weird, I had it bad for like a week or so, maybe two weeks, and now like it's really not that bad. I haven't taken tons in a couple weeks. I know it's coming. Usually it's towards the end of pregnancy for me that I have to take Tums like multiple times a day, every day, but for now like it's held off a little bit, which has been really nice. Also headaches have been almost non-existent. I did have one day this week that I had to take Tylenol because I had a headache, but other than that, my headaches have actually been non-existent, which has been really nice. I do get tired physically. Um, I can't stay up on my feet too long because then my feet just get sore and I have to sit. But tired, like tired, like I need to sleep, it hasn't been too bad. I find most nights I go to bed, I go to bed around 11 and I could stay up or I could fall asleep right then and there. Like it's not like I'm so exhausted I can't keep my eyes open, so that's been nice. Um, but I do find that physically I have to take it easy. I've been craving a little bit more sweet things lately, which is so weird because up until now it's really not been sweets at all and just been like meats. And I'm still craving meats, actually not as much though. I've really been craving peanut butter. I just always want peanut butter sandwiches, which is like so random. Um, but I have been having ice cream a little here and there. Um, which in the past, like I didn't want any ice cream. So I feel like I'm coming around to all of that, but not really like craving, craving anything other than peanut butter. I guess I've really been craving that. <laughs> 
I've started to compile a list of names now that we know Baby is a girl. Anthony and I haven't really talked about names. I mean, we have a lot of time and usually like with our kids, we don't really decide on a name until towards the end. So I'm not like feeling like a rush for it, but it is fun to look at baby girl names because I've never been able to do that before. And I found that I tend to gravitate towards girl names that end in a Y. I don't know why, I think they just sound pretty. So names like Avery or Emery or Audrey, um, things like that I really like. I don't like common names, Emily. I have so many Emily cousins, Abby. <laughs> Again, not because so I don't like um, popular names like that, but kind of names that you don't hear too much. Um, that is kind of my favorite. Um, I also really like the name Maeve. I think that is so so pretty. I think it's gaining in popularity right now, but I think it's so pretty. So I'll have to collaborate with Anthony and kind of see what names he's thinking of and compare them to my name. But it's fun just looking through and um, looking at all the different girl names because I just think there's so many out there that are so, so pretty. Um, I think Anthony's mostly just going to be focused on the initials because he's a guy and he's very into the initials with all of our kids. So we'll see. I'm sure we'll be able to eventually agree on a name, but we have not come up with a name yet. I have started to buy a few things for baby girl. Um, obviously now that it's a girl, we are in dire need of girl clothes. Um, I'm sure I can go through my bins and I'm sure that I will and pick out outfits that are gen more gender neutral that I've had from the boys. But in terms of like bows and dresses and skirts, like obviously I have none of that. So on Black Friday, my mom and I went and did a little shopping and we found some of the cutest little outfits for her. She's gonna be so stylish, so stinking cute. And my mom said she found some bows on Amazon, so we're waiting for those to come in. I cannot wait. She's gonna wear a bow like every day. I'm gonna put her in a bow every day. I don't care if she likes it or not. Um, I'm, I wasn't able to do that with my boys, so I have to take advantage of it. This might be the only girl I have, so. I'm gonna go crazy with it. I've also started to make a registry on Amazon. I kind of told my mom that we should do a little bit of like a sprinkle, not like a full on baby shower because I already did that with my first and it's only my third. But just with this being the opposite gender, I would like to do a little sprinkle, something of a get together just to have people to come celebrate another baby, a baby girl, and then also just to have people bring maybe some baby girl clothes so that I'm not like having to buy them all myself. Just kind of um, something fun and who doesn't love shopping for baby girl clothes? So I think we might do something like that once it gets a little closer, obviously not anything right now. And with the holidays right now, it's so crazy. But I've been thinking about that. But going back to the Amazon registry, um, if you make an Amazon registry and then um, put things on it, once it gets to a certain point in your pregnancy, Amazon puts all the things that are on your registry at 15% off and you can buy them at a cheaper rate. So that's what I've been doing. I've been putting things on there, not clothes necessarily, although I have put bows on there, but it's mostly just things like, I need a new baby book. I need girl crib sheets, um, a girl changing pad cover. Um, I need another sound machine <laughs> uh, because our boys both have one and they love it. So just like different things like that that I've been putting on my registry so that eventually I could go buy one. I also need to buy a high chair because I threw out our old one because it was so gross and I hated it and I hated the high chair. So yeah, I need to find that. Our rocking chair is kind of falling apart. The boys have been like going crazy on it and so some of the like arms are falling off of it so I'm debating about whether to get a new uh, rocking chair so yeah just different things like that I've been putting on there so that once it gets closer I could use the 15% off discount and buy anything that I want to so that's kind of um, what I've been doing this week I guess that's not really like symptoms but it's just things I've been doing to prepare for baby girl coming of course we have like 
all the essentials, um, a bathtub for a baby, a bassinet, car seat, you know, different things like that. Those are all in, the, in our basement. So we will eventually bring all those out. But there are a couple things that we will be needing. Yeah, I'm excited to get all the girl things. I'm so, so excited. If you have any uh, thing that you had, that you got specifically for a girl, let, uh, put it in the comments down below so that I can know. I don't feel like there's too much that like girls need that boys don't other than like clothes wise, but if you think of anything, let me know. I have been really thirsty in my pregnancy. Um, I've been drinking a lot and I've been hungry. I do find that I, I always want to eat. I always want snacks, which hasn't been the case up till now. But I think that's probably about it for the symptoms. It's not too much different other than it's really the leg cramps that are getting me like every day. I swear they're out to get me. Um, and of course baby is kicking all the time. I really haven't had any um, more back spasms like when I bend over to pick something and my back all of a sudden really, really hurts. Haven't had that, which is really nice. And then Braxton Hicks. I had them a couple weeks ago, like here and there, but I really haven't had one lately. So that's been good too. But anyway, I'm gonna close this out. That was my 22 week update. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.